About all this is Dr. Robert Murphy. He's a professor of infectious diseases at Northwestern University Feinberg School of Medicine. Thanks for being with us again. Good morning. Hey, good morning. So a story in the Wall Street Journal today saying it's the small gatherings that people aren't realizing. Even people that have been in your bubble, that's where people are getting COVID now too. Right. Uh, you know, it, this whole thing started, it was uh, concentrated in the nursing homes and uh, assisted living facilities, prisons, uh, places where people were had to congregate. Uh, it, that got cleaned up and then it moved out. And as we started to socialize more, it was in the bars and the restaurants and the clubs and the gyms. And then as that sort of got cleaned up, it's moved indoors. Hmm. Is and that because different people's idea of safe and I'm being safe is different to different people? Right, yeah, you know, they think, oh, my friend, uh, you know, my neighbor, relative, whatever, you know, uh, it's a safe thing. I know them, mm -hmm. but, you know, everybody is out. Everybody is working or they're going out. And so you're getting the con the, the context of your context, you know, are the ones that are giving it to you. And it is everywhere. 15% almost is the positivity rate. If you just look at people on the street, 15% is terrible. I want to follow up on a question from yesterday about the, about the vaccines, and yeah. we, we reported this morning that first responders will be the first to get it. Uh, mm -hmm. And so my question when it comes to side effects, is that mm -hmm. something that you would normally see in two, three, four, five months, or is, can side effects evolve in nine months, a year and a half? How does that normally work? We don't know. Ah. So you have the acute side effects. You know, it hurts. You feel achy, maybe a little, even a little fever. Uh, that that usually resolves when, in a day, similar to when you get a flu shot or any kind of uh, vaccine. And then, you know, we start seeing things a few weeks or months later, some neurologic uh, findings, uh, stuff like that, uh, you know, that was reported in a couple of the vaccine trials. They said it wasn't due to the vaccine. Uh, okay, but uh, you know, like when we had the flu, uh, the swine flu, uh, many, many years ago, you know, they had Guillain-Barre was more closely associated with the vaccine. That's a neurologic uh, condition. So this stuff can come months later. It, so we don't, that we can't answer the question. What about this idea of mouthwash killing the virus in saliva? Does that mean you use mouthwash and you're COVID free? <laughs> no, no, not quite uh, that uh, good. But, uh, but it, it brings up a good point. What you're referring to is a study from Wales in, in the United Kingdom, and uh, the active ingredient in mouthwash actually kills the virus. Okay, so it's a test tube type uh, experiment. But we know this virus outside of the human body is very fragile. You can kill this thing with just simple soap and water, 60% alcohol, like any kind of disinfectant, it kills it. Once it gets inside you, it's a completely mm. different story mm. and it'll kill you. So yes, mouthwash probably does, but you know, ju that's just for the mouth. Now, you know, unfortunately, you know, unless you're gonna inject your uh, nose with mouthwash, uh, it's not gonna be very protective. Which you don't recommend, I'm going to- I don't that recommend that, I think that's very <laughs> yes. messy. All right, viewer questions, here we go. With multiple vaccines showing positive results, will the public get to choose which one they receive and how should we base our decision if that's the case? Oh, this is a great question because this is going to be reality. <laughs> By the time these vaccines get out to the general public, which now is thought to be the end of the second quarter, beginning of third quarter, middle of the summer, basically, uh, when it's likely to reach everybody, you're going to have probably four or five vaccines. You're going to get to, you may get some choice. All right. It might depend on your region, how they're distributing the vaccines. You know, you don't want to wait too long. But then again, some of the vaccines, uh, have different side effects, uh, maybe, uh, or uh, different efficacy rates, and you're going to get to select. And you do that with the help of your physician and with the, the, the health authorities, they'll help you. All right, another question. I have heard you say several times that the COVID-19 vaccine is two shots. Why mm -hmm. is that different than a normal flu shot? How much time should be allowed between shots? Yeah, the typically vaccines uh, for these kind of diseases, they have the long lasting effects. Uh, there does require a booster. You always get a better immunologic response when you give a booster shot sometime three or four weeks later. It can even be sometimes even months later. You get a, you get a, a higher antibody response, immunologic response, and it lasts for a longer period of time. That's, we've known this about vaccines forever. That's why your kids get measles, mumps, rubella. They get like a couple shots, you know, whatever. So the same thing is true with COVID. Influenza is very different. Uh, you know, it's it's changes so much every year. They have to make a new vaccine for every one. 
uh, we, it's never been shown that giving two uh, influenza shots uh, actually has been helpful. And by the time you would get a second influenza shot into somebody, the flu season is pretty much over. All right, last question. Will the vaccine be available for kids as well? Uh, ultimately, yes, uh, but uh, they have not been studied heavily in kids, and uh, it's basically stuck in neutral with the pediatrics. So uh, typically with kids, you have to show that it's safe in adults and teenagers first, uh, and then you do the studies in kids. Those are being planned, and they have started. Got it. All but right. They're going to follow the adults. All right. Thanks, Dr. Murphy. Thank you. If you have a question okay. for him, you can post it on our Morning News Facebook page. We'll talk to him again tomorrow at this time.